Okay, in this video we're going to do something a little bit more fun. So if you recall uh, when you imported the storage box mesh, I included a closing and opening animation. Yeah, just purely amazing. We're going to be putting those to use, so when a user opens the chest, it opens, and when they are done, it closes. So I'm going to try to set this up to where I only really want one user to be accessing the chest at a time. So if a user has the chest open and another user tries to access it, it's just not going to allow it. So we can go ahead and get started on that. We're also going to have to make some changes to our character. So if you recall, we're just opening and closing it all on the client, which, um, actually, yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'm eventually, we're going to do some, like, different checking to, you know, make sure that the user is, in fact, within range of the chest and that kind of thing. But for now, we'll just leave it. So... We can, let's see, over here in the storage container, we can go ahead and actually set up our animations. So we're going to make two of these. So U property, edit anywhere. And the class is going to be a uh, uh, A animation, I think it's an A animation asset. Open animation. I'm going to double check real quick. I know we're going off the mesh, so mesh component, play animation. Come on, IntelliSense. Uh, you, yeah, you animation asset. Alright, so that's right. Let's do one more for close animation. And we want to have a replicated Boolean that's going to kind of dictate whether or not the chest is in use or not. So let's make another one. U property replicated uh, using. Let's. We need to make a function. Bool is open. So this can be U function. Uh, what to call it? Void. Uh, chest opened I guess yeah on rip chest opened that'll be good eh, let's create a definition and let's set is open to false in the constructor and build remove this down below Should be an animation asset. You anim oh you animation. I don't know why I was thinking A. Oh, I guess I'm thinking actors. Right. Whoops. Cancel and rebuild. Line 32. <sighs> and build. Again. And I forgot to set up the do rep lifetime. Crap. So it's going to fail. Actually, if it doesn't, I'm going to be kind of surprised. And it did. Cool. Alright, so in our inventory.cpp, we're just going to save some time and copy this setup for replicating our variables. And paste it on in our storage container. And we're going to replicate our is open variable. Now because we are replicating, we need to include net unreal network. Now we can build. And we should be good to go. Alrighty. So now back in Unreal Engine, let's actually go ahead and set up our blueprint class and storage container. 
just find out wherever our opening and closing animations are. Alright, so here is our open animation. Storage box open. And our close animation. Storage box close. Save it. Let's double check that it transferred. At which it did. Alright. So now we also need to do something else real quick. We're going to make a public, um, what's the word, variable, I mean function, to change our is open variable. So void, uh, opened chest, and we're going to make it take in a boolean. So this is going to dictate whether or not the chest is actually opened or not. So we need to modify that on the server and have all this kind of stuff kind of trickle down from it. So we can go ahead and start by actually, just for the sake of example, we're going to make it play our chest opened. But we're going to make it open the chest just for now. So we're, what we're going to do is mesh component, play animation, and the animation is opened, or open animation, and we do not want it to loop, so we're setting it to false. And we're going to go ahead and build. I actually need to call it. So for now, I'm just going to do in our character, container, open chest, just going to pass in true. Alrighty. So now just for showing example, when we press E on the chest it should open, which it does. So we need to set this up better. So right now this is all setting up on the client. We do not necessarily want that. But for now I guess we can go ahead and let's see here, how do we want to go about doing this? So we're going to be calling our open chest function, passing in true from the client. Here we can make a, we can actually perform it on the server, so we're going to make a server function. You function server, reliable with validation, void server underscore opened chest. Make it take in a boolean. Validate. Now let's create a def definitions of our validate and implementation functions. And we can go from there. So, where are they? Here they are. We're just simply going to make it return true from now. And what, I'd, what we're going to do in the future is, this is pretty much where we're going to have our check. So we're going to do a distance thing to make sure, like, okay, the client that is trying to open the chest is within, you know, let's say three meters or something like that. So that way they can't really be accessing a chest across the map. And we'll do other things along that. But for now, that'll work. So we're simply going to return true for now. And in our container, or not container, implementation, this is where we want to alter our variable. So is open equals, I'm going to do a check again, get roll, no, duh, roll is equal to roll authority, then we will change is open, set that equal to 
the value of opened. Then from there, uh, we do not need to call the onRep function because that'll be done. We're not going to be testing and dedicated. I mean, we're not going to have a client host, so we can just leave that as is, and our onRep event should run. So if is open, else. So if is it open, we will call our opening animation. Otherwise, we will call our closing. So mesh component, play animation, open animation, and false for looping. Then we play our close animation for when we close it. And on our open chest function, we're going to call server underscore open chest and pass in opened. So here we call our open chest, set it to true. And that should kind of kick off everything. Which I'm going to change the order of this real quick. And build. Let's see how this goes. So this should play on all clients where it is relevant. So let's make sure it actually works first, which it does not say anything. Let's see here, let's print out a log. I just realized I'm playing as the server, aren't I? Yeah, there we go. Now I'm as a client. When I open it, nope, still nothing. Server underscore open check will not be processed. Alrighty then. So, it's because we are not the owner of that actor. So therefore, we cannot call a server function from it. So what we're going to have to do, I think, from our survival character, we're going to have to call a server function to then call our open chest function. Then we should be good to go. So let's see here. We have to set this up for our implementation. So I'm just for now, I'm going to copy this portion. and paste it in our implementation function. So and from there we're going to call opened chest and everything else we're going to just leave on the client and that should be okay. That's the same thing. Alright, it does not, so we fix that, but we are not getting the animation to play. And it did not seem like, well, at least I didn't see the log get printed out either. Let's test in the open chest. Let's see if we get a log. Hopefully. Hmm. 
I'm just not getting any logs print out at all. I'm going to try to restart the editor real quick. Save it. And relaunch. Alright, animations are still good. You finish building. This is not making a whole lot of sense here. So we are in fact, all right, so from the client, we know that this is in fact running and I never called the server interact function and that would explain everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm a little frustrated. All right, well this should fix it. And as you can see, it opens. Playing animation, open chest, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can go ahead and get rid of our logs real quick. And then we will test with two clients to make sure they are, in fact, seeing the animation pop. And then we need to set it up. We'll probably do this in a separate video on making the animation actually close, since that'll be kind of a different thing all in itself. Yeah, so we'll just do three. Client three, client one. Client one's gonna have it at the very bottom. Oops. Client three at the top left. And then this guy. And let's see. As you can see, it opened on all clients just like so. Let's go ahead and go through what we did. And here we can actually, this is where I'm actually planning on doing our distance checking. So if the ray crashed, well, if the uh, distance between the two actors that we're trying to deal with when we interact with them, we can simply do right here. Well, actually, now we would still need to do that up here because this is how we're actually opening and setting up our container. So we would need to replicate wherever our open container variable is with just the server. But we can do that between each other, but we'll do that later on, like I said. So what's going on is when we press E to access the chest, we call our server interact function, which simply checks to make sure, and if, the, if we do in fact hit, our array hits the uh, chest, we are going to call our open chest function, which that is going to right here. That is going to call our server open chest function, even though we're already on the server. So we can actually pretty much skip that entirely, but we'll like I said change that later, hopefully. If I remember, that is going to do a check if our we are on the server, meaning our role is the authority then is open is going to change. So by default it's set to false because our chest is set, it's just not opened. But then it's going to be set to true. Meaning when that happens, because our variable is set to be replicated with onrep, it's going to call our onrep chest open function, which is going to run on clients where the object is relevant. So this here, and same thing for uh, for clients that are freshly joining the server, like late for example. So this here is going to play the opening animation for us, like on all clients. It's not going to be, we don't have to multicast an animation each time it does it. That variable is what controls it, which in turn causes this function to run on all clients. So for example, I'm going to host a dedicated server, I want to join it with one client, open the chest, then I'm going to come back in with another client to join late, and you will see this chest opened. So there, chest is opened. 
going to run another client. And as you can see, the chest is in fact open. So we're going to use this here as our baseline to set up our closing animation, our closing setup in the next video. So I will see you then.